Hello again and welcome back to our course on Excel 2019 Advanced. In this section we're going to take a look at radar charts which are a very good way of comparing a relatively small number of things against a relatively small number of metrics. Now in this case the things we're going to compare relate to employee performance at work and a particular company measures performance against six categories and those are the values in column B. So customer focus, critical reasoning, adaptability, creativity, responsiveness and loyalty. Now the company's standard score for each of these, the benchmark score, is a four and employees are measured against a number four and if they fall below four then they are considered to be underperforming in that particular category. If they go above four that's considered to be an exceptionally good performance and who knows it could lead to a pay rise. Now we have the scores for two employees here Jenny Murray and Steve DuPont. And what we're going to do is draw a radar chart to represent these two employees' performance. Now, even if you've not used radar charts before, you can certainly appreciate other options for comparing their performance. You might at first think of a column chart where the categories along the horizontal axis are those six categories. And then you could have three sets of blocks, the company's standard, Jenny and Steve and you would very soon see that Steve's performance is generally short of the company's standard and Jenny's, well, Jenny's isn't. So that would be a pretty good way of representing this data. But a radar chart is a very good option for doing this kind of comparison as it very often flags where people are doing particularly well and where people are doing badly. Now in order to demonstrate radar charts, what I'm going to do is first just draw a radar chart that covers the company's standards. So I'm going to select cell B2 down to C8. Click on insert. We'll click on all charts and we will select radar and click OK. And there it is. Now you notice the six categories outside of the radar chart. You could have more than six or less than six. Radar charts are generally used for relatively small numbers of categories. Once you kind of get to 12, 15, 20, it does start to become a little bit unmanageable. So just be aware of that. As you can see, it's drawn concentric hexagons starting from zero in the middle, one, two, three, four. It's probably human nature to assume that the max score you can get here is five. Excel doesn't really work in that way. The highest score it's seen is a four for company standards, so it stops at four. And the blue line very much represents the company standard. So let's change the selected data and instead of stopping at C8, we're going to stop at D8. So select data and we're just going to change C8 to D8 and click OK. Now we have Jenny's score as well. Notice how you can immediately see that generally speaking, she is outside. That is better than the company standard except in the area of loyalty where she gets a score of three and therefore drops inside that blue line. Let's now include Steve. Now Steve's score on the other hand is generally speaking all inside the blue line. In creativity and loyalty he scores a four so he just about achieves the company's standard but in other areas he falls well short of it, particularly in adaptability. So you can see how visual the representation of the relative performance of those two employees is, not only to each other, so for instance Steve's score in loyalty is actually better than Jenny's, but that is the only category of performance of which he does better than Jenny. But you can also see how each of them does against the company standard. So that's radar charts. You have all the normal formatting options such as legend to indicate which color of line corresponds to the employees and the company standards. 
There are some alternatives such as the radar with markers and there is a field version as well. But that's it on radar charts for now. In the next section we're going to take a look at bubble charts so please join me for that.